Jeff. So this is um, a really, really personal project. This you know really ties the um, you know the astrology to um, your personal life, and you know, you know uh, I did this for always club. So the relationship um, that you have with them, I mean, I mean the good, the bad, the similarities, differences, likes and dislikes, conflicts that you may have, or you know good moments, positive moments. Talking, doing something, eating at lunch, be specific to what that is. And also, what did you learn from them? What are um, the lessons um, that you took away from them? You know, how did they, um, what did they teach you? How did they inspire you um, and specifically and personally into your experience? And then tie it back to astrology, tie it back to the actual Gemini Zodiac sign. And just only tie it into all those planets I talked about, and also get into that person's chart. So not only those sun, moon, and the top planets, including the ascendant, Mars, Venus, and Mercury. Tie all those in. Talk about the astrology. Connect it. Uh, connect all of those back to um, 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 real life. So, um, so. Um, Let's see. So then, um, yeah. So, um, so your relationship with the person and their astrology, uh, and then what you need after that is, um, I mean, you should know what all the planets mean, um, and talk about their placements. For example, Mercury might be in, I don't know, Sagittarius. Mercury sign of communication, thinking. Love all of those things I talked about. Then that placement in Sagittarius, the sign of Sagittarius, for example, how did they channel it in real life? How did they channel the Gemini energy? In what ways? Either speaking or um, what they did that they um that they channeled it, that they um that they showed it. Uh, uh, in what way did they do it? Also, specific. To them individually, going with their, um, their astrology. So, um, so then, um, so then astro channeling. So then, yeah, um, so what you learn from that person through the Gemini energy, through what they had to offer. For example, maybe they, um, maybe... Uh, yeah, um, you know, maybe it was a teacher that you had, and say, um, I learned this from the teacher, um, in what way being born a Gemini son, uh, in this specific way going with, um, I'm going with them as an individual, going with the chart, um, and then how did they channel the energy, how did they channel um, the Gemini energy through that, okay, um, and also relationship, getting into the relationship, and also talk about the person, um, talk about, um, you know, who they are, the story in relationship, how friendship, or, um, how you came to, you know, get to know them, uh, and get into your personal, um, experiences, and what you gained, what you benefited from them. Now, there are several different ways of doing it, because you're going to be having, uh, I would preferably have, um, like, it's, it's, you don't need to have, like, research information, although you can make, like, a document or put it, like, information on a piece of paper, um, of, um, of all of those things, of, um, of all um, um, experiences, relationship, astrology, what you learn, all of the information that you need. So you have a couple of choices. You can do a poster. So a poster. Smartphone's running low. So a poster, like you're, you know, drawing images, or you're taking, you know, pictures that you had, or uh, and then stick them on the poster, and then um, write about it on, write about the specific experience, 
on um, on the different pictures for each one of your pictures and images and occasions that you had of what it was, the good, the bad, the you know similarities and differences, the um, relationship, what you learned from that person, how did they channel the Gemini energy, and also getting into how the top placements of the chart would channel if you can find those things. So, I mean, if you're doing it, then you need, um, so all your pictures, at least one picture per experience, and then tie all of those things in. Okay, make sure that there's a lot of color, um, I mean, not a lot of blank space, um, that, um, um, you have, you know, good variety and, um, you know, different, you know, colors all around, make it very, very color colorful. I'm very vivid, really, um, I'm, 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 I'm really captivating and fun and appealing to the eye. And I won't judge you on your art skills if you're choosing to draw those things. Another option is making a presentation. And, um, and it does not matter what presentation that you're, um, that you're doing. Google Slides, Prezi, keynote, PowerPoint, with you, whatever you want to, if you want to you know, try something else, whatever works best, has the most options for what you're planning, whatever is easiest for you, whatever you're comfortable doing. So with the presentation, so one to two slides per different category. So title slide, and then a slide getting into who they are, Basically, another slide getting into your relationship with the person, how you came to know them, um, on the history, how the friendship or family member came, and then the next slide is going to be, um, um, on the next slide is going to be your experience with the person. So listing out all of your experiences, experiences that you know. And, um, this is the order. So experiences. You know, speaking with the person or doing something with the person or, you know, we talked about doing it, you know, whatever it is. So, experiences. Then you need the relationship, the good, the bad, similarity, differences, likes, dislikes, agreements, disagreements, you know, disputes, um, you know, getting along this time that you had conflict, all those types of things. And then, then the next part, then the next slide or couple of slides is what you learned from that person. How did they inspire you? What lessons? How you know? How did they shape you? What did they? Um, what did you benefit from the person um, that they taught you, and in what way? And then the last slide or couple of slides is how did they channel the Gemini energy? In what specific way through all of the rest that you've done? So that channeling of the energy should be the very, very last thing that you do. So how do they channel the, the Gemini energy? And also, again, get into the top chart placements, including the moon and the sun. So, um, and also with the slide presentation. Also with the slide presentation. You can choose if you want to. To make a screencastify or make a, I'm um, just, you know, recording where you're talking over your presentation. If you're doing a video, I would suggest that you wouldn't have a lot of words on your slide, that there'll be mostly images that you have copied and pasted or videos that you find on, say, YouTube that you entice to experience. Or if you have a video of you and the person together and, I mean, you, um, you know, expressing, you know, whatever, um, say, a video that ties into the, um, the, I, I don't know, one of your experiences, then put it on there, and then, um, and then also put a little descriptive, um, on there, just a basic, uh, 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 information on what that video is about. I'm just, you know, I'm mean, just, just what's happening in it. So, videos, images, put more of those on there if you're doing the screencast, um, or just whatever recording 
um, that you're doing uh, on that. Um, or if you're just having a presentation, then you can fill it up with as many words as you want. But, you know, don't forget, you know, bullet point it, put images on there, put a lot of um, words on it. And make, you know, you make, um, make it very, very interesting on your presentation. Make it um, original and unique and add things to it that make it that. Um, so that's the presentation. Then another thing is the so presentation so um so online then another object option is narrative um and using so um writing using dialogue using uh expression telling a story telling a story so it's going to be one story, so you know, um, you know, narrative, you know, of your personal, uh, you know, getting personal, telling a story of your own experience. So this is another option. So then, I um, mean, you know, again, remember the order. So person, who they basically are, the relationship, experience, lessons that you learned and then channeling Gemini energy, all based off of the story, okay? Um, and so, I, um, so then again, um, with that, um, and so doing it in order, so telling it through a story, and also making it, you know, using imagery, and making it fictional, um, and really making it, um, I'm really, really interesting in that way. So I'll explain on a little um, screencast if I, on how to do all those things. Then there comes one more option, and that is the essay. So, which is how many paragraphs? In 12, let's see what else. Person, one, relationship. Um, Experience energy, five to six kilograms. So on the essay, I um, remember all of those things. Um, I mean, for those of you who are in Taurus season, remember um, that you're doing the I mean the the uh, attention grabber quote. Um, Startling fact or something else that grabs my attention, bridge from that into the thesis statement, and then the thesis statement. Most important senses of the entire essay. Um, that's the thing that um, that introduces in the gist of that sentence what your whole entire thing is going to be about. Um, so really making it count and probably. Adding in all those different things, uh, all those things I talked about, and then, uh, and then the paragraph order. Remember the order of it. Then remember the order of it. And each paragraph, each body paragraph should be one category. Make it descriptive. Make it um, as detail oriented as much information as you can. Because the more, um, the better. Um, in the, um, the, you know, the more interesting ritual. So, that's that. And in the conclusion, remember that there is the restating of the thesis. Then there is the legacy statement, which is the inspiring value. Um, the sentence that uh, expresses the importance, but you know, it inspires others to you know do this or read this or you know you know, you know uh, say these things or whatever it is. So that's what you need um, for that. And also remember for paragraph topic sentence supporting details, conclusion, all those types of things. So that's what the essay is going to look like now. I'm going to probably talk about this a lot more in depth uh, on a screencastify. I might make that, um, but as you can tell, I'm a little you know, sick and tired of standing up here and talking. 
Okay, so that's all I have. That's all I have for that. So I think that um, on the picture, it's really, really clear with what you need. Okay, and maybe on the new one, the images on there as well. So uh, Deborah can take over now with all that she has. You're all going to be going back outside now. Um, she has some things planned. Thank you all so very, very much for going with me with that. Excellent.